All right, I've done a couple of videos where I'm using the, the term bus and uh, tri-state bus and shared bus and things like that. And, and maybe it's a topic I haven't talked about, so I'm going to do that today. What is a bus? Well, a bus is uh, some wire, some signal path where there can be transmitters, multiple transmitters into it and multiple receivers. So uh, people get to get to put their information on the bus and then other people get to read that information. It can be as simple as just a piece of wire. And so you enable one of these and then you enable one of these. So you have a path this way, maybe, or this way, maybe, or maybe both of these are listening at the same time. Um, okay. But what if you want to transmit multiple things? Well, you don't want them to crash into one another. You can have a bad day. Okay. So how's that solved in the bus world? All right. uh, here's an easy way to do it. You use a whole bunch of open collector, open, 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 uh, open drain. Um, and so you have a pull up. So the, the, the line is high until somebody pulls it down and it's okay. If two people pull it down, uh, it's not going to break anything. You won't know who's talking, but, uh, you can have multiple things where somebody pulls down and says, Hey, I want detention, you know, give it to me. And then other people can talk. But, uh, this, this is the way that I triple E 488 did it or I squared C people share the, the one line and then everybody pulls down on us. So that's why you have to have that 4 point, say 4.7 K resistor on I squared C. It's this resistor right here. And then everybody else gets to pull down on it. Okay. So that's one way to solve it. Okay. So let's talk about the case where, um, we have a true, uh, CMOS gate. It can pull it high or it can pull it low, right? This is like an inverter. And if you, set one of these to low and set one of these to high, you're going to have a bad day, right? So you need to solve this problem. You, you know, you can say, well, you can't say just so, well, everybody hold their line high. Cause then somebody's going to want to pull it, pull it, high, pull it high. Everybody hold, hold their line low. And if somebody wants to pull it high, it doesn't work. Everything will crash into one another. So they had to solve this problem. Okay. And they solved it with something called something called a tri-state buffer or a three-state buffer. Um, three state output, things like that. Okay. Um, but tri-state or three state is what you'll hear. So, um, we're going to use one first and then I'll show you kind of how they work. So imagine that you have a system where you want to be able to pull it high or pull it low or just let go of it. Okay. That's what this enable pin does. This enable pin just lets go of it. And, um, like having a, an analog switch in there that just disconnects yourself, yourself from the circuit. If this wasn't here, these two LEDs would be on, right? You'd have current flowing through here. If this thing was in a high state, this LED would be on, but that LED would be off because you would have two highs and that one wouldn't, wouldn't have any voltage across it. Or if this was pulling low, you'd have that uh, LED high, but this one would not light. Okay. And again, if you float it, they'll both be high. Okay. So let's take a look at that. All right. So here we go. We have a high state or a low state. And so here's the low state. Here's the high state, low, high, low, high, low, high. Okay. So it's pulling on the bus. What if we tri state the bus? If we tri state the bus, they both turn on because we've just let go of it. Okay. It's on its own. So enable the bus and disable the bus. So that's the idea of tri state. This is a 74 LS 244. Uh, Tri-state buffer, very common. Now, how would you accomplish such a thing? Well, here's a really simple, simple, simple idea. That is, you know, here's your inverter and you can just disconnect VCC or just disconnect the ground. And you do that with these two. Now you're going to have a lot of burden voltage. You're going to have a whole bunch of voltage drops here. So while this works, it might not be the most efficient. Okay. All right. So let's look at a 244 data sheet and it, in the back, in the back, it talks about, uh, the output circuit. And this is what supposedly the output circuit looks like. Okay. VCC ground, it has a push pull. So, uh, we can make it high, make it low. Now we want to disconnect it. Well, I'm not quite sure from this schematic how it works. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Certainly if this was the disconnect line, 
it would keep uh, anything from getting to this transistor and the pull down here. So this one's going to be turned off all the time. And I guess this would t uh, turn it on, but to some signal. And then this, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. So <laughs> raise your hand if, you, if this makes sense to you. All right. So I looked around for another example and I found a 74HC244. And supposedly the HC 244s look just like this, okay? And so we have uh, A and, and, you know, in and out. And then here's our enable pin. Our enable pin comes in here. There's a whole bunch of, there's six extra transistors. This is like the, the push-pull output. And there's a whole bunch of resistors here that are acting like FET switches, like analog switches. But the wiring of it is confusing to me because the output of this is tied to the input. It, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. I think, I think that, that's, that connection, that dot right there is not supposed to be there. And so you're either, uh, you know, you're either doing this pair or this pair, turning them on, turning, anyway, flipping them like they're on. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, the proof is left to the student. So there's your schematic, figure out how the stupid tri-state works. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to introduce you to what's known as a tri-state bus. A tri-state bus, All right? So line drivers with three, oops, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So chip of the day was a 74LS244. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it is a uh, three-state output. So anyway, the, the whole video is about the uh, about the bus and about uh, three-state buses. Uh, very common in microprocessors that have an external bus. Microcontrollers don't ever have this problem because these buses are inside the chip. They have to deal with this inside the chip, but outside the chip, they're just I/O. And there's no such thing as uh, shared buses and stuff other than I squared C. Okay, I squared C is an exception. Um, but uh, yeah, in the 8080 world, you're having, you know, 8-bit data buses, 16-bit address buses. They, they share lines. They talk to one another. Um, and uh, it reduces the number of traces you have to have on a PC board. Um, certainly, you don't have to have one wire going that way and one wire going that way. You have just one wire that can go both ways, and a whole bunch of different things can tap into that one wire. So, anyway, there you go.